so it's freezing cold. I have odd socks on my feet, wool on top of wool, and today is the fourth day of my vlogs. Um, I won't be doing one every single day, um, but this week, say, kind of thing is going to mostly about like gallery visits and stuff and so um it's kind of the gathering so that's obviously it's a lot quicker than when i'll be doing developmental stuff which will kind of lead on from research not in the a level kind of way um but obviously one painting will lead on to ideas for the next painting and i already have a couple of ideas with the pressing faces on photocopiers and I also want to draw a load of um, penises um, influenced by the show which I have seen today hopefully I'll be able to get some photos primary images because I don't really like taking other people's images I will do it when I have to um, but it doesn't feel like it's as much my work even if I then you know do some with that imagery um, so hopefully someone will be happy enough to um, take a detailed picture of their penis while you know enjoying themselves as it were oh dear doubt what's going to happen um, I went to see two shows today uh, one was the Hunterian, um, not the normal exhibit extra. Um, it's so good I have written nothing about it. I'm being sarcastic. That wasn't very good sarcasm. Okay. Oh. Okay. So <clears throat> it's called Make It Better: Designing Out of Medical Error. Um, and you basically walked in and half the room was like a medical room the other half had um, a screen with a sort of documentary style interviews um, I think I wouldn't call it art I would call it design and I think that there is a very big difference obviously design is the idea of getting a problem and figuring out that problem and how to solve it theoretically whereas art is kind of more like complaining about the problem or saying no this is what I think of the problem and not so much what can we do about the problem art is more about acknowledgement maybe you know it is acknowledging it through showing us how to improve it but I think make it better designing out of medical error um, is kind of the key word and so it's, I mean with, with the artist especially kind of now, now um, contemporary art um, it's kind of almost a from the artist's perspective rather than from the clientele's perspective it's, uh, it's all about what the artist thinks and then hopefully the viewers will also acknowledge the same thing um, whereas this is very, it's it's set, let's say, and the, the, there is very little of the artist's own opinion other than the opinion of improvement. So I didn't really connect with that at all. Um, I also went to my table. I have room for books, my god. Um, David, David Shingley, brain activity. Now it's it. Oh God, so good. Um, I mean, I wouldn't call it good art. I, like technically, it's not good. Um, it's purposefully not good. Um, in a few interviews, he described his work as being not good so that it has no style there's no te techniques so there's no style 
um, I would call it very naive. It looks very, it looks very childish. It's like, and and yeah, it is very childish. But the thing that makes it very intelligent is what the pieces are saying. Um, even if it's just like on a comic point of view, very ironic point of view, um, the work is very interesting from that perspective. And so it becomes almost less than about what the work looks like than what it's what then what it's telling you. Um, for instance, there was this one with uh, with this video, and there were um, little circle men, and there was a square man in an army, and uh, all these square men kind of like soldiering along. He falls down a hole. Um, and bumps into these circle men and they're like yay and he gets crowd surfed over and then there's a saw and they saw him into a circle man um i mean what i got from that was the fact that it may be conforming to society he can i got a uh, the pieces that i particularly liked was the headlessness which was um a vulture not a vulture. Uh, um, oh, I need to think. I leave these today. I swear, because like I have more brain cells than I let on. I'm going to search in my notes. Ostrich. There we are. Oh, it's not pink. <laughs> Lol. Um. Yeah. It's an ostrich, but it's headless. It's um a taxidermy piece um, which I found really interesting um, just because it's, it is bizarre it's just odd yeah also I mean to me it describes a um, the kind of like loss of identity because obviously I think people look at the heads for animals maybe it's less indicative because most animals look like the next animal but for people particularly if you if you were to remove the head apart from them being dead um it would obviously it would change who they were completely um uh in this it says in all of his works whether they involve images texts or objects Xing Li tells his stories in the simplest possible way leaving room for the rest of us to complete the narrative for ourselves as he puts it himself, I try not to say too much. The story is told inside the viewer's head. Which I think is perfectly true. I mean, you don't know how the ostrich, for instance, died um, in some of his other works. Like, there was um, two wounds covered in pen and ink drawings. Which reminded me very much of last year in our drawing thing, where we had to do a box filled with 45 drawings. Um, kind of reminded me of that but framed um, hola. um let me think and each one had a kind of he takes it from like the everyday everyday uh, situation so he's not saying anything about the situations he is kind of bringing them to light and in that way is saying something about them He's using kind of like an irony in one of the pieces. Um, he wrote um, footprint and there was a handprint there. Um, in one of the images, there was a thing that I was um, a little disappointed at was the dog. And even though it was really good and I really, really liked it, um, it was shown in this way on the um, on the um advertisement as you can see um but it was in a case in the in the gallery um which was it it made you look a little differently it looked more like some out of a hunterian which i don't think for this particular show was the right way to go about it and the uh, especially because the ostrich wasn't in I, it wasn't encased either. One of the interesting things was the had the headstones with bread, milk, cornflakes, 
baked beans, tomatoes, aspirin and biscuits engraved in it. And I'm thinking maybe I could look at something like that um, as I have some marble, not vast amounts, but I have some. So that could be quite interesting to have a look at the idea of maybe doing something like that. Um, yeah, so it just played an irony and it was very humorous. It was nice to watch uh, and see and kind of get from. There was a couple of pieces which I think spoke very well to my own work. There was a piece in drawings of lungs. There was a giant um, drawing where the body had been made up and there were arrows going off it. A like atomical drawing but very, very simple, very childlike. Um, so like in the eyes it says hand. So obviously it's don't touch, look with your eyes, don't touch don't look with your hands that saying um, obviously at the top of the head said wood so we go oh touch wood so it's using that kind of like sayings uh, which are placed upon parts of the body which I thought was quite cool quite very very interesting also reminded me of an artist oh yeah um, Giuseppe Archimabo Archimabo Folio. Um, um, yeah, and he painted people uh, made up of vegetables and animals and um, general things like that. Usually on a profile, um, or using very strong features, because maybe it was easier. To, maybe because obviously the more the shapes were more uh, defined and whatnot. That's what it reminds me of. That was annoying to find. Oh god, I need a dictionary of names in my head. Yes. So that was cool. Now obviously I've got a few ideas from that. Um, which I wish to look at. Um, so I found the... I think that was very, very good. Um, to go to and I would recommend anyone. Um, going to it um, but yeah it was a very good exhibition and I definitely got something out of it which is good because it's, it's completely different to what I would usually like technique wise other than that it's all good yeah I shall um, post again maybe tomorrow or Monday cool bye